Welcome to Overlook Medical Center and the auxiliary celebration of 100 years of service to both the hospital and community. Walking into the lobby, the auxiliary's impact is seen and heard immediately. The beautiful flower arrangement from Bloom and the music from the piano is very apparent. The music is funded by the auxiliary and from time to time is joined by a harpist or guitarist or some other form of musical instrument. Looking across the lobby, you will see the auxiliary symbol. Walk a few steps and you are standing in front of the gift shop in Bloom, the auxiliary's main fundraiser. There you can find items for birthdays, holidays, or any special occasion, or just a treat for yourself. The floral arrangements coincide with the season. Looking down the hallway past the gift shop, your eyes will catch the auxiliary's beautiful flowers outside the Thomas Glasser Caregiver Center, which the auxiliary helped make possible. As we approach our 100th anniversary, the question arises, how well do you know your auxiliary? Over the last 100 years, the Overlook Auxiliary has had an extraordinary impact on the patient experience, on patients uh, here at the hospital, the visitors, our staff. They've done extraordinary outreach both inside the hospital and outside the hospital. Overlook Hospital was founded in 1906. In 1916, the Women's Auxiliary of Overlook Hospital was created by 16 community-minded ladies who saw a need to assist their community hospital. During two world wars, as the auxiliary grew, these ladies held fundraisers, folded bandages, redecorated hospital rooms, and sewed linens. The ladies of the auxiliary were responsible for all the linens used in the hospital, and Mondays were known as sewing days. Major changes to the auxiliary began under Eloise Walker with the addition of a tea room and gift shop. Many auxilians volunteered in the much loved and hugely successful tea room during Gladys Travis's presidency to later become a successful coffee shop to now the gift shop in Bloom. One very important event in the auxiliary's history was when Jean Clutsam founded the Twigs. These were, and still are, groups of volunteers that raise additional funding beyond the gift shop. Each Twig decides on their own activity and funding. This increased the membership in the auxiliary tenfold. With the help from the Summit Playhouse group and the Chatham Players, the first Follies in 1949 had a cast of 185. It was such a success that the next in 1950 had a cast of 220 people. In the three years, 1949 to 1951, the Follies raised 38,000 for Overlook Medical Center. Then followed a series of musicals, My Fair Lady, Hello Dolly, How to Succeed in Business, and many more. In 1976, the Auxiliary celebrated the Overlook Hospital Diamond Jubilee with a generous donation towards the opening of the Center for Community Health. Overlook Hospital's guests for this grand event were Princess Grace of Monaco as the honorary chairman and Bob Hope adding his blend of warmth and funny stories. In 1996, at the celebration of 80 years of service, the watchwords were commitment, challenge, compassion, and camaraderie. Those goals remain the same today as in 1996. As the auxiliary grew and the needs arose in the hospital, the auxiliary branched out in various directions. In healthcare today, the hospitals are having an extremely hard time getting access to capital, and it's becoming harder and harder. So many of the projects that uh, have taken place have taken pla place because of the dedication and hard work of the auxiliary. We wouldn't have uh, completed that. But more importantly, uh, the auxiliary has contributed to our healing culture because many of the projects we've done, like the caregiver center, the pediatric playroom, may not have happened at all without them. And this contributes to our healing culture. And that's what we're all about, is providing a healing environment for our patients. And that would not have happened in many cases without the auxiliary. The auxiliary also helps not just the patient, but the caregivers, such as the Thomas Glasser Caregiver Center, renovating waiting rooms like the Oncology Solarium, and providing magazines in the waiting rooms. The auxiliary also has answered the needs of the Neuroscience Department, the Ovarian Cancer Center, the Valerie Center, Health Start Clinic, and the Employee Child Care Center. 
The hospital staff also benefited with the help of auxiliary funding for training and scholarships. In terms of support from the auxiliary here at Overlook, one is certainly something that I feel personally very strongly about. It's their support of our nursing staff. We have 1,300 nurses that practice here at Overlook, and they wouldn't be able to do the provide the kind of care that they provide if it wasn't for the support of the auxiliary in terms of their donations, their philanthropy, and making the practice environment on the nursing units as safe and patient-centric as it is. So that's something personally I'm extremely proud of and, and um, very happy to be associated with the auxiliary. But I guess the second thing that comes to mind really is that they really interface with our patients on a daily basis. We have volunteers that are in the hospital every single day that meet and greet our patients, sit and hold their hands, and really become the voice and the, the um, face of the community when patients are hospitalized here. So I think those are the two major initiatives that touch me personally through the auxiliary. Throughout the auxiliary's history, the atmosphere in the hospital was not neglected, besides the music, floral arrangements, and artwork. During the holiday season, the Twigs make sure the hospital is decorated and provides a holiday reception for volunteers and employees. And where can you find our auxilians volunteering today? Just ask Elsa Russell and Diane Sweat, the current co-presidents of the auxiliary. You can find our volunteers working diligently in the gift shop. They're willing to help you do anything you need to find. We also find our volunteers in patient relations. Visiting new patients every day of the week. Messengers deliver packages, specimens, notes, whatever is needed uh, to the floors and uh, help the patients in that way. Flower deliveries are made. Um, volunteers are apparent on the floor all the time. Not only in the hospital, but outside the hospital. We have fundraisers and dances, and sometimes we even have wine tasting. Uh, in the hospital, occasionally, we have vendor sales, which are very popular with the employees. What are some of the ways the Auxilians raise funds beyond the gift shop in Bloom? One of the ways was in 2008, the Auxiliary co-sponsored the Twin Maples Centennial Show House. Another fundraising effort was a cookbook. Cooking is Our Bag was a very popular Auxiliary cookbook. Special events such as the Biennial Kitchen Tour and the Overlook Hustle added some fun to the Auxiliary and Twig fundraising activities. And speaking of fun, the Auxiliary also had fun at their annual meetings. Here we add vendor sales, raffles, fashion shows, and some very notable speakers. In 1992, in response to a need for organ donors, the Donate Life Committee was initiated. It was part of the auxiliary until 2012, at which time the twig disbanded and the members became part of the New Jersey Sharing Network. How does the auxiliary stay young, responsive, and strong to the needs of Overlook? Just ask John Odette, Medical Director of Clinical Affairs at Overlook Medical Center. So let's look upon the auxiliary as sort of a living organism. And it's got 100 years of wisdom, collective wisdom that has passed along during that time. And so you look at that and it's really remarkable when you think about that. That being said, you've had lots of new members come through the years. And so, you know, as opposed to a single human being that becomes more frail as time goes by, you have an organization that in some ways becomes younger, more vibrant, more energetic. And you can see that in the, in the membership here. Looking back and seeing what we have accomplished in our first 100 years has been an amazing journey. Activities both inside and outside the hospital have raised an impressive $2.5 million for Overlook since 2000. As the executive director of the foundation, the auxiliary has been tremendously significant in creating new programs and services for our employees, for our patients, and for the community at large. And one of them that I remember from a while back is our employee child care center, which was a, a wonderful uh, project for our employees. And then since then, they have contributed to our eating disorder program, they have contributed to our ovarian cancer research project. In every area of the hospital, the auxiliary improves programs and services through their wish list program. 
and uh, just every variety of uh, opportunities that are presented to them, they take advantage of. One has to be impressed with the commitment and the time of the auxiliary's leaders. As a longtime employee of Overlook and having been involved in the foundation for many years, I remember so many of the leaders of the auxiliary. And as a former president of the auxiliary yourself, you remember the hours that you spent here as a volunteer president and Elsa today. But I remember going back to Lee Moore and Helen Hansen and Carol Hancock and you know, uh, Crystal Dines and Sue Mullen and Sue Wiersba. And, you know, I'm sure I'm forgetting people, but, you know, they were just such a, a necessary part of our organization. And the amount and energy that they contributed here is unimaginable. What's going on now at the Auxiliary? Let's ask the president of Overlook Medical Center, Alan Lieber. The auxiliary plays a vitally important part to, in the Overlook family and they really have made a difference in how we can treat patients. And, and there are several concrete things they, they have done, they continue to do. They knit and crochet booties for all of our new, new babies that are born at Overlook and it's a great way to come in. We provide um, lap blankets to all of our surgical patients. Um, and they provide Benji puppets to, to all of our pediatric patients. And each of these touches those, those folks who come to the hospital. They also provide, run the very best hospital auxiliary I've ever visited <laughs> and have a phenomenal florist um, who provides that service to all of our patients. So they, they really touch everybody's lives that, um, in Overlook in very concrete ways. They've also been a great part of our fundraising. And so when we've had fundraising campaigns through the years, the auxiliary's always been a group that we can count on to go out in the community, bring our message, and, and raise um, donations. And so recently they've made donations to the ovarian cancer research program, to our um, adolescent eating disorders program, to the caregiver center, and, and the most recent um, pledge is a quarter of a million dollar pledge to the Atlantic Neuroscience Institute. So we've been thrilled with that sort of participation. Ultimately, Overlook is a community asset, and they are really an important way that we connect to the community. The Overlook Auxiliary is a volunteer organization cultivating a compassionate and comforting environment throughout the entire medical center community with active volunteering and imaginative fundraising. Come join us and make the next hundred years as successful as the past hundred years. Here's to us in the next hundred years. We're counting on you to keep doing it.